Hey folks, happy Canada Day from Seaway Whiskey Wire. Tonight in the bar we're going to craft an iconic Canadian cocktail from down east known as the Dave Matthews Cocktail. So go watch that intro, come on back, and we'll craft this cocktail together. Stick around guys. Well hey guys, thanks for coming back after the intro there. I'm Tyler, and tonight in the bar we're going to craft an iconic Canadian cocktail. Just in time for Canada Day, the Dave Matthews Cocktail. You know, Dave Matthews may not be Canadian, but his cocktail sure is. It was created back in 1998 at the Capitol Complex in Frederick, New Brunswick by Wes Ward. And in an interview with Wes, uh, asking him about how he came up with this cocktail, he simply answered with, it was a slow night at the bar back in 1998 and I was listening to Dave Matthews. And you know what? That's how, how it was invented. That's how the name came to be. And this is a great cocktail, very popular down east, but I'm hoping to introduce it to you guys tonight. And uh, this is actually a special request uh, episode for Mrs. Seaway. So thank you, Mrs. Seaway, for the inspiration, and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, so yeah, we don't need a whole lot to craft the, uh, the Dave Matthews cocktail, guys. We only need a few uh, different ingredients. So you're going to need yourself uh, one lime, one fresh lime. We're going to squeeze some lime juice. Next, you're going to need some pineapple juice, freshly squeezed if you got it, or store-bought uh, like I did right here. Next is cranberry juice. You need a little bit of cranberry juice for this cocktail. Then you need some amaretto liqueur. Now the gold standard for amaretto liqueur is Deserano or Deserano. That's what we have on the bar tonight, so that's what we're using. And then you're going to need some coconut rum. I'm using good old Malibu for that. So, um, and you also need a couple of bar tools too, I should mention. So you're going to need yourself a Hawthorne strainer because we're going to strain this, uh, this drink over fresh ice. And then a citrus juicer just to juice the lime. Uh, and we're going to make this in a shaker tin. You can make it straight up or in the glass and just stir it up. But uh, Wes Ward, uh, in, in uh, the way he makes it, is, is best served shaken. So we'll start off with the ingredients here. So first ingredient, you want to grab your jigger and you want to measure one ounce of your coconut rum. Again, we are using Malibu tonight. And take that and right in the shaker tin. Amaretto liqueur is next. We got ourselves some Di Sorrento. I always love that cap on the bottle there. And that's a one ounce of Di Sorrento. Amaretto liqueur. Right in the shaker tin. Next is cranberry juice. And you want about three quarters of an ounce cranberry juice. Right in your shaker tin. And then we want our pineapple juice. And you only want a quarter ounce of this uh, pineapple juice, guys. And right in the shaker tin. Fresh lime is our last ingredient before we ice it down and shake it. Get yourself a nice fresh lime and give it a little run, fingers. I like to use half a lime. It calls for about a quarter ounce, but I, I just prefer to use half a lime. Just squeeze that right over top of your shaker tin. Right in there. Next, you want to grab yourself and prep your glass. I prefer to do this in a rocks glass, and we're just going to fill the rocks glass with fresh ice. like so and grab your shaker tin fill that with ice pop a lid on it get the shaking for Canada happy Canada day everybody well, you know this is a really well balanced fruity cocktail a great little sipper and I hope you're gonna hope you're making one with me now and you're gonna enjoy it with me here in a moment so you want to give that a shake until you don't hear any more ice particles kicking around in there give it a little tap on the side there and grab yourself your hawthorne strainer just strain it out right over top of that fresh ice we have a nice little bit of foam there Garnish, you can garnish it with a cherry. I prefer to garnish it with a nice little lime wedge. You can also use an orange peel if you'd like. 
And we'll just take that, we'll just plunk that on the side. And there you have it, folks. The Dave Matthews cocktail. Cheers. Happy Canada Day. Very balanced, wonderfully fruity. It kind of has like this little bit of a Mai Tai vibe to it. And I think that's really kind of brought up on board by the, the, the Amaretto liqueur. But you know, you get that, that sweet and that tangy from the uh, juices there. The coconut just kind of really adds it. It's kind of got almost like a tiki flair to it. Uh, definitely one of those drinks you can enjoy a few times and you know, you're not gonna get too, uh, too overwhelmed <laughs> with the alcohol content there. But yeah, it's a really nice little refreshing cocktail. And you know, it's kind of got that Canadian vibe going on, not just because it was invented in Canada, but it's got that little bit of red tinge to it too. Delightful. So yeah, again, happy Canada Day, guys. Go make yourself a Dave Matthews uh, cocktail. Take a trip down east. You'll be glad you did. And if you like what we're doing here at Seaway Whiskey Wire, you guys know that drill. Like and subscribe down below. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram at Seaway Whiskey Wire. Well, guys, from me to you, Hope you're having a wonderful Canada Day. If you're down uh, south there, I'll see you in a, in a little bit and wish you guys a happy 4th of July. But uh, for now, it's, uh, it's Canada Day here in the Great White North. So cheers to your health. All the best. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.